guess this is not going to cooperate. Works when I do it in 105, which we're not in 105. I'll tell you what, I'll just go in, I'll go in and install it, but it probably won't work on this machine because IIS is already installed and it will interfere with it. But I'll go and do that, at least I can go through the mechanism of doing that. Um, generally speaking, there are, there is a Microsoft platform and there is sort of open source web development platform. And Open source is often called LAMP, which is Linux, uh, Apache Web Server, MySQL Database, and PHP, or Perl, or Python, or whatever. A lot of languages start with P. I don't know why that is. Um, there are versions of the LAMP platform that you can easily install for Windows, and the Windows one is called LAMP. Windows, uh, <laughs> Apache, blah, blah, blah. So if I go out here and Google, and look for WAMP. WAMP, the web development platform on Windows. What I can do is, I double click the download file, follow the instructions, everything else is automatic. So I would go and run one of these. Did you want to stick with the 32-bit one? I don't know. Do I? Uh, I, I? I was just wondering if there were issues with the 64. I'm not really sure, uh, especially with Windows 8. I've never done a WAMP install on Windows 8. At any rate, we can run that. And blah, 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 blah. And go and download it. And I like to put things on the desktop, so I'll put it on the desktop. meantime, I'm going to try to undo IIS. You know what makes it in the uh, Usability Hall of Fame for me? The fact that I vertically scroll my scroll wheel to make it go from side to side. <laughs> well, that was easy. It says it's going to take five minutes. Uh. Did all that stuff download with uh, Visual Studio? Didn't all what stuff download with Visual Studio? The Apache and the IIS server reactivated it. Apache? No. Oh. I mean, IIS, it was like I didn't even have to do anything. Right, because it downloaded a little, little development 
web server for you. Not a full blown version of IIS. It develop it get downloaded enough of a web server, but definitely it's not an Apache web server. No. What benefits would I gain from having an Apache web server as IIS? Would I notice anything? Um you would be cross-platform compatible. You arguably could be more secure. This is going to go too long. Um, installing it is not difficult, I guess. I, I wanted to, to show that, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. Now, if you already have a web server installed on your machine, and not the IIS, not the one that's just the little development one for Visual Studio, but if you have a full-blown version of IIS, you could just install uh, uh, PHP. Uh, if you have a Mac, you probably already have Apache, and PHP, you just got to, there's instructions to turn on PHP. That actually will be part of the activity for Monday. I haven't thought of the rest of the activity, but part of the activity on Monday will be to um, make sure you have a development environment of your own, all right, uh, and, um, you know, assuming you have a machine at home or a laptop or whatever, to get that installed and then to do something else. I haven't decided what the something else is yet. If we, That's, if we, if we have, like, third party, like, I have, like, server space on the uh, out and about, can we use that or no? I don't care as long as you have a web server. I mean, I have it here, obviously. Yeah, uh, I mean, it just, you know, just if, if, it's, if it's local something, then, then you know that, you know, you don't have to worry about it being down or, or whatever, so. Yeah, it, no, it doesn't bother me, as long as, you can, as long as you can run PHP scripts. At some point, you'll have, you'll have some web server space here so that we can test some things, because not everyone has their own yeah. okay. uh, web hosting. Yeah. All right, questions? All right, that's it. Remember, no class 